let me turn the uh, topic here to what Durham said, uh, because you and I worked closely on the impeachment thing. Uh, and we did the impeachment specials and, and everything else. I wanted to get your opinion. Special counsel John Durham asserted in court on a, on a filing on Friday that the CIA concluded data from the Clinton campaign lawyer, Michael Sussman, allegedly uh, alleging coordination between Donald Trump and Russia was, quote, not technically possible. And it was, quote, user created. What does that mean? Mm-hmm. User created. So, I mean, go back to one of the uh, indictments that's already happened. Uh, that lawyer, the FBI lawyer, Kleins- Kleinsman. Um, so he was indicted for lying, basically for you know drumming up evidence. He changed mm-hmm. an email so that th- so that that could continue to go mm-hmm. for the FISA. So this is basically the same thing. User created is the people that were working for uh, the Clinton campaign actually injected and created this damning information so that they can get so basically they they fabricated uh, evidence and then handed that off to the fbi now i think it's really interesting that the fbi is not being implicated here they're not they're not saying hey uh or there's no evidence that the fbi uh doubted this at all but of course they they didn't right because they were all in bed all the way from the top from the director down to people like andrew mccabe they were all involved with this um, now we have people from the CIA saying, well, we looked at it and it's kind of obvious. And they go, of course, this is leaked as well. Um, so none of this was real, making this even even worse. So it's injecting false information into this. Now, the, you and I have done so much digging on this and reporting on this. We know all the other people that were involved. Yep. And this is what's pissing me off about this. Me too. <laughs> because who, who, is, who, is getting the, who is getting hit with this? A lawyer? Yeah, listen to this. In the filing, Durham (laughs) responded to objections from Sussman's defense regarding what evidence could be admissible at his trial, which is scheduled to begin next month. Sussman is accused of lying to the FBI, saying he was not attending a meeting on behalf of a particular client when he was actually presenting the information on behalf of the Hillary Clinton campaign and a technology executive with whom he had worked. So why isn't the Hillary Clinton campaign in trouble. Why is the lawyer going to be the fall guy? Do you think he did that on him by himself? Do you think that that she was shocked and horrified when she found out? Compare this to like a mob investigation. Yes. Or I'm deep into the motorcycle community, like a motorcycle gang or something like that. Now, how do they go after those two organizations, you know, specifically? Leaders. Rico. Mm-hmm. It, leaders, right. Mm-hmm. They use Rico to go after the leaders. Now, why aren't they doing that to the Hillary Clinton campaign and Hillary Clinton herself? Can I tell you something? What? There are so many Rico cases that are out there right now that should that should be Rico cases. This is one of them. This is one of them. The Federal Reserve, I think, is a Rico case. It, uh, I, ESG Straight up. and uh, what's happening with BlackRock, that's a Rico case. There are so many Rico cases right now. And all they're ever going to do is fish for the small fish. They're never going to go for the big ones. Oh, my gosh. People like, I mean, think of all the people that were involved here, not to mention the FBI. We've got people from DO, from the DOJ. We know this. This is fact. People like yep. Bruce Orr funneling in for all this information, funneling it to the direct, directly to the top. Why aren't they implicated in this? Why is it the lawyer? The guy in the middle, that he's the guy that accepts it. He's like, okay, fine. If I screw up, then I'm going to jail. Why is that accepted? Why isn't it just him? The guy, he's the fall guy. We've got a fall guy. Everybody knows he's the fall guy for the bigger fish. They won't go after the bigger fish. It's ridiculous. So then what we found out on Friday is, do you remember that thing where they said they had this computer server that was pinging the Russian bank? Alpha. Completely made up. The fact that Donald Trump has a Russian phone with him and we can track it. It's with him all times. He can make calls to somebody, we don't know who, but somebody in Russia anytime he wants. And it's with him in high-level media in meetings. Untrue. Right. Untrue. Um, the, um, the, the FISA filings, untrue. Proven now, untrue. All of these things, including the Steele dossier, proven Untrue. And it all goes back to Hillary Clinton Mm -hmm. and Hillary Clinton's use of the uh, FBI, Justice Department, 
uh, the NSA, the CIA, all, all of them. All of them were in on this. Yeah, and so and we know from the F, so from the CIA leaker that's saying, look, we knew it was user created, we knew it was bullcrap. I'm sure the FBI did too. The CIA can't get involved, so that's the FBI. The whole point of this, remember, the the whole point in the beginning was just to funnel false information, get it to the FBI, so that the so then the media can then get that leaked and say, look, the FBI is looking into this. This looks really dirty. Donald Trump must be a Russian asset, and then public opinion takes it from there. This, I mean, th- this is election interference, is what this is. I mean, they never intended, I don't think, to get an indictment on Donald Trump. They just wanted public opinion to take it from there and to tank his campaign. That's what this was all about. But again, I don't want, look, at you have people involved, the bigwigs of the FBI, Hillary Clinton herself. All these, these are the people that we should be looking at, not a lawyer. Like all these other people, they were the ones directing it and facilitating it. I don't care about this lawyer. I mean, sure, he should go down with the rest of them if he's found guilty of funneling all but this But he's not the guy. But No, he's not the guy. It's like, you know, just the, delivering the message. The justice of Watergate is not happening. You know, even with Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden, he'll go down. Most likely, he'll go down. But will his dad? I mean, we have stories that are much... Gee, who said this in 2008? When it all is said and done... This administration, meaning the Clinton, Biden, Obama uh, era, will go down as the most corrupt in all of American history. And it is. All of the things that they built at that time, are all, all those chickens are now coming home to roost. And is anyone at the highest level going to pay? This is the problem with America. I think most Americans, Republicans and Democrats independence, we all want the same thing. We all want the bad guys, legitimate bad guys, to go to jail. I don't care if they're Republicans or Democrats. I don't care. I want the bad guys to go to jail. And they won't. I mean, the bad guys will get away with it. And I would have been there on the front lines with, remember when we started the impeachment thing? (laughs) And what did I say to you? We have got to turn over every stone, and if the guy is guilty, he's guilty. Let the chips fall where they may. That's not the way it's done in America anymore. And that makes us just another awful, awful country that's run, you know, like a a banana republic. Yeah. You talk about countries like Ukraine or whatever. It seems like they have a like a corruption officer at the airport and they'll just like kind of pull you into whatever scheme the moment you step off. That's what it felt like when we were doing all that, you know, all that research on Ukraine. Mm -hmm. That was then. Of course, you say that now and they'll call you a Putin stooge. Um, But pointing out the obvious, you know, now is is a crime. But I mean, how different are we really? I mean, this is embarrassing. And the entire world is watching this. I mean, we laugh when people like Putin get like 97%, you know, favorability rating, you know, or whatever. And we're like, oh my gosh, that's so stupid. The system's Look still at- corrupt. Look at us. Look mm-hmm. at us. I mean, we can't even acknowledge the obvious. We have to let a lawyer go down for the things that he's being told to do by the highest echelons of government with the FBI, uh, the Clinton family. I mean, uh, come on. I mean, it's just, uh, I highly... At this point, it's sad to say I highly doubt anything even happens. I highly doubt it. And I think we even called this out on one of our show. We're like the middlemen or the low-level people are going to be the ones that will go down. Um, There's another story. Uh, Democrats now are blocking the Republican efforts to upload Hunter Biden's laptop into a searchable digital format into the congressional record. It's already been accepted. (laughs) But are you ready? Uh... Uh, apparently, uh, Jerry Nadler has said, we don't have the technology to upload that into the congressional record. And so, so he wanted everything on paper so it could be scanned in. But then that doesn't make it searchable, does it? Uh, so they are now... Uh, conferring with lawyers back and forth. It's been accepted. That's bizarre. Yeah, we just don't have the technology. Like, why would a New Yorker have that accent? I don't know. <laughs> that is bizarre. <laughs> Such a jerk. <laughs>